It's back to work for the Rockford Ice Dogs this evening in a rematch contest against the San Antonio Rampage, and it all closes out a season-long six-game homestand. Joseph Zakshiski once again with you alongside Ford, Dylan Secure, and Dylan. Big win for the Ice Dogs last night. Now winners two in a row. You helped set up the overtime game winner, but for the contest overall, I mean, what does a game like that do confidence-wise for this team now going into a rematch performance tonight? Yeah, that's that's huge for us. Um, you know, any points we can we can take at this point uh, are really big for us, and especially when uh, you know we're playing a team that's trying to catch us and uh, you know in the race as well. So. I thought we did some good things last couple of games and, uh, you know, hopefully get on a little roll here. And I think we're playing some good hockey. And you're playing some good hockey, too, to focus on you individually. Now, points in six straight contests. I mean, what is it about your game that's really starting to evolve and now move forward? Uh, I think just uh, starts with the team. I think, you know, my uh, my line, we got a lot of chemistry going right now with Quinville and my brother. I think, uh, you know, keeping us together for last week or so, I think we've been uh, we've been pretty good. And, um, I think our power play starting to click a little more, which always helps when you're an offensive guy. But uh, yeah, I think it's just from the team playing good hockey and uh, you know everyone kind of buying into our system right now. Well, for the Ice Dogs taking on a San Antonio Rampage team, that let's start with the offensive side of things. This is a San Antonio team doesn't allow a whole lot of shots, only 21 total shots for the team yesterday. How do you try and continue to crack on through that and create more offense? Yeah, I think we got to keep uh, you know getting pucks in that. I think uh, you know maybe our D can do. Uh, a good job of getting pucks through and uh, you know low to high we can hit that hit that shot right away but um, yeah I think as many shots as we're gonna get I think we're gonna get some good chances too some good looks and um, you know it's up to us to capitalize so I think if we're gonna get a couple great A's then hopefully uh, you know we can bury. You're a guy that likes to shoot the puck too does that make you think maybe a little bit more creatively knowing that your traditional shooting lanes might not be available? Yeah I think so I think uh, you know nothing wrong with, that, with ever looking for a shot or trying to shoot the puck but uh, you know if uh, they're going to go down and block shots. Maybe teammates going to be open somewhere, line mates going to be open somewhere and make some plays. So I think um, that's something to look for tonight. And on the defensive side for the Ice Dogs too, San Antonio, they love to shoot the puck. They lead the league in shots on average. How do you want to limit that? I know you took a pretty healthy shot block a couple of nights ago, but uh, I know everybody all hands on deck when trying to silence them in their, in their offensive zone. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think uh, as long as we kind of contain them to the outside and uh, you know don't give up too many uh, chances up, in, up to the middle and um, I think we'll be fine. I think, uh, you know, as long as those are coming from the perimeter, I think doing a good job in front of the net, uh, taking sticks, taking bodies, I think then uh, we can limit uh, any great day chances they have. Coming out of the All-Star break, now the coaching staff saying that it's all pretty much playoff hockey from here on out. You're one, you've last two games. Have you felt like the team's really bought into that mentality? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, it's good to see us take a, take a nice step there and, um, you know, kind of going as a day-by-day -day basis right now and we're only as good as our last game so it's a it's a big test for us tonight and uh, you know we want to be good in our home building here and we want to show that uh, you know we're a playoff team so uh, it starts tonight. And then final question for you in the rematch against San Antonio this evening at the BMO what's going to be the difference maker you just saw him last night copy and paste the game plan but uh, what's going to be the x-factor? Yeah I think uh, coming out uh, coming out hard um, you know maybe playing with the lead uh, you know it's you know it's going to be a chippy one uh, it's going to be a close game right down the wire. I feel like we play these guys in overtime every time we play them. So, you know, it's going to be a close game as long as, you know, you kind of stick with it. Don't get frustrated and, uh, you know, hopefully come out on top. Well, Dylan, I appreciate it. Good luck tonight. Thank you. For Dylan Secura joining us for the Ice Songs Broadcast Network, let's get you back to the action. Hogs and Rampage at the BMO. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Songs Hockey on the Hogs Broadcast Network.